Hey guys, oh, I had me a dream last night. This was about the uh, the guy with the laser gun that shot me and almost killed me in uh, Spirit World. Um, I didn't really understand what Craze was saying, so basically I dreamt the whole thing. But I got some new information, and it's pretty cool how the dream represents. So I know a guy. I got shot by a laser gun from a guy in Zero in the lower astral on the illusion in reality. So this is where this guy lives in reality. He's not in reality, but his spirit is in the illusion. Okay? And down more. So you know spirits that haunt your house? He's one of those. He's not in Christ consciousness. He's in Zero. And he's just roaming the earth sort of thing. Okay? I want you to pay attention to this because this is what I know with Christ and Spirit and me what happened and this is a dream representing it representing my life and my situation so he shoots me later Christ has been moving me around for a week like twice a day for a week because there's two other guys his buddies when Christ nabbed that guy with the gun they did a investigation they went into a university in the basement and they found two huge guns okay watch my past videos if I miss anything here um then Chris has been moving me around because I never got those two guys that I don't know and I'm thinking well why not you're Chris go down there and fucking get them right that's all you gotta do obviously something's wrong there and I always felt it why didn't they get these other two guys right that's that's what I want to know so um, I've been asking Chris are there any updates all week and they moved me twice so I'm with this other Chris I'm up I'm up on the I'm up pretty high now so I don't know what level yet I never asked but and I never found out but I'm higher and that's nice so I went to bed last night asked uh, give me your information in the morning as soon as I wake up I'm with Christ and he's talking to me just like that and my wife and my kids, they're all yelling. Everybody's talking, have a good time. Um, so I woke up this morning. I'm laying there, Chris talking to me. And I just had a dream. And the whole, I said, I just had a dream about something. I didn't even know what it was about. But this is the dream. And I'm telling Chris the dream that I had. Because he don't see, he's, if he's not in me, he don't see the dream, right? And he wasn't in me. Well, he wasn't in me. He was with me because we're connected now. Like my soul's connected with him, so he's keeping an eyeball on me. Anyway, this is the dream. I'm in my garage in my old in my old house and where I live here in Chatham, and I'm in the garage. Me and my cousins were playing and we're just screwing around building things and I had a mattress I'd sleep on on the floor a mattress and there's a pillow and there was food and stuff we'd bring food in and stuff and we were in the garage and my cousin he was building something at the workbench where all the tools are and the grinders and everything you know garage and um, he was building something and I wanted to go in the house my house my body I wanted to go in my house downstairs to get something, but I couldn't. I wasn't allowed. And I'm and I, I was I turned towards the house and I wanted to go get it, but then I was like, I can't go down there. Damn. So that kinda of pissed me off. And I did that like three times in this dream. And so I was laying on the mattress and I had to get something done. I had to get something fixed in the garage. I had to clean it up or something. The skins, my body, my healing. And then I'm laying on the mattress and I get up and I'm standing there and I'm looking at my cousin and he's working at the workbench. My other cousin comes in and he's working and I don't know if I should keep this stuff secret from them. 
but I don't know what I'm supposed to keep secret. But I want to keep something secret. And that is my problem. That I lost my skins and I'm healing. And I always, always issue, do, do I tell people about this? They'll think I'm crazy. That type of thing. So in the, I'm in the dream. And all of a sudden, from under my mattress, where I'm sleeping, comes this spider. And it's red. Okay. You know what a fire ant color looks like? That shiny red? Like a fire ant? Well, this thing was shiny red. And it come walking out. And it's walking out from the mattress where I sleep. And it come walking out. And it's crossing the cement floor. And I'm looking at it. And it, and it was like an egg sack. With a, there was a skin around the egg sack. Inside there was three three layers. And each one of those layers had a whole bunch of eggs in it. Okay. And then he pooped out or he laid the three egg sacks in a row. And then and then I washed it. He walked on a little bit, and he turned around, the spider turned around. Oh, and the spider came out of the egg sack, too. And the spider was just as big as the egg sack. And he, he went back in the egg sack and scooped up the rest of the little things he pooped out, the other little egg sacks. So it was like one big giant egg sack with three egg sacks in it and the spider. Christ. Then... As I watched that, he picked them all up and became normal again. And this egg sack was just like an egg sack with legs, six legs, eight legs. And I'm like, what the fuck, right? And the spider was inside the egg sack with the eggs, with the egg sack eggs. Jeez, I don't know. Anyway, I'm watching it, and all of a sudden it stops. And it, it, it goes, it's, the spider somehow gets out, and it's walking, and it's attached to the egg sack. And the egg sack's walking with the spider. And it's shiny red. And all of a sudden it goes, it stops on the floor and it goes, and it looks at me and I can see two black eyes. And I'm like, oh, fuck, right? And I freaked out. I, uh, I backed up and it started chasing me and I backed up. And all of a sudden another one comes out from the side here. And now I got two chasing me and I'm running around in circles. And so I ran over to the mattress, I grabbed the pillow and I went, and I smashed the one spider, the first one, and the other one was coming, so I got up, I dove out away from it, and the spider was gone. I couldn't figure where it went when I smashed it, right? Because it should be splattered on the pillow, or it should be smashed on the thing. And I pulled up the pillow, I looked, and there's a great, great big spot of black goo, like a stain of black goo on the pillow, and it was shiny like oil. And then I'm like, holy fuck. And I threw the pillow, because I didn't want to touch that stuff. I threw the pillow away, over in the corner. And I'm still I'm jumping. I'm jumping over top of these spiders. And these spiders are chasing me. And I'm jumping over top of them, jumping over top of them. I want to run in the basement, but I can't go in the basement. And I'm jumping, I'm jumping in the house. You know? And all of a sudden, I woke up. And so there's JC. And I'm telling, I start telling him about the dream I just had. And he goes... He goes, you finally get it now, don't you? I go, what do you mean? What the hell's the dream about? I didn't get it. I didn't understand the dream yet. He goes, that's this is the two guys we're trying to keep you away from. He goes, you're in a garage. You can't you can't go in the house in the basement, okay? So like the level you're at in the garage, the level in the spirit world is the garage. That's the illusion where you live when you are awake in your body. That's the illusion, okay? In the dream, it represented that plane of existence, the illusion of plane, reality. And he goes, you couldn't go in the basement, which is below, okay? And then you start going down into hell and all that. And these spiders came out of from underneath your mattress and out of the cement. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that. One, it, one, the second one came right out of the cement, like, rip, like that. And, or that was the third one. I think there was three. Spiders chasing me. And uh, the basement, I couldn't go down there anymore. I couldn't even be here. They were chasing me here in the illusion. 
And he goes, that is the illusion. You're not allowed to go in the illusion anymore and react your soul. He goes, you live in the illusion, but your soul ain't there. And he, so I'm like, I'm out of the illusion. My soul is not in the illusion. He goes, yep. And I go, why? And he goes, because they're chasing you. They're going to kill you when they get you. And they're going to kill you. It means you're going to die and be here with us. And I'm like, holy fuck, this is real, isn't it? And he's like, yeah. I've been telling you for a week now. And I'm like, I'm still out of it, right? And so, so the house, the house being my body, I wanted to go, I can go in the house, but I can't go downstairs, but I had to go downstairs, but I couldn't. I don't know why I had to go downstairs, but there was something I wanted to do. I think going downstairs is actually, me going downstairs, my soul going downstairs in the house is my soul in the house the house is the body. I go downstairs in the illusion. And I get wrapped up. Skins wrap you up and you're tight in the illusion. I, my soul can't go there anymore because these guys are chasing me and they're going to kill me for putting their buddy in prison. And I go, well, why don't you just go down there and fucking smoke these guys, right? Ghost them or something. Like ambush them. I'll go down there. They jump me. You ambush them and that's it. And he goes, yeah, that'll work. But it might get you killed. We ain't even going to try it. We ain't even going to do that. And I'm like, well, what are you going to do? And he goes, wait, there's nothing we can do. And I'm like, oh, come on, there's something you can do. Right? And he goes, you ain't going down, that's all there is to it. And I'm like, shit. So, um, the spiders, I asked him, like, what do these two guys look like? And he goes, there's a large guy, he's sort of fat, and there's a skinny guy. And... They're chasing you, that's what they're doing. They're like mobsters or something. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we took their guns away and now they got they're pissed. And I go, Oh, by the way, there's there were three spiders in the dream. And he goes, Oh, that's interesting. So I go, Well, is there anybody out down working on these guys? And they go, We're watching them. We can see them all the time. But we can't send you down there so you can get jumped and we can now. And it turns out they can't do nothing until they abuse me. As soon as they abuse a Christian, then they got them. Then they can do whatever they want to them. But they, it's very fine line laws you're working with. So Christ can't do nothing until they abuse either me or someone else. Then they're down there and they're going to get them. And... Uh, they can't come up into Christ. They're stuck in the illusion. And below. Like down in hell. I don't even go down there. I don't even want to know. But they're stuck in the illusion. They can't go up in Christ. And now I can be a Christ and walk around the illusion. But I can't abuse anybody. Right? It's like when you go out, when you go out to the mall. You just can't find someone you don't like. Go, hey, punch. You go to jail, right? It's the same thing. The illusion is reality. So they, Christ can't come down in the illusion, in the spirit world of the illusion, and just grab people. Okay, there's laws against that unless they abuse someone, and they ain't they ain't abusing no one. Now, if I go down there, my soul comes down into my body. My soul comes down to my body, and I'm walking around. They're gonna jump me, or I'm gonna fight back. So it's going to be a stalemate, basically. Or until they think they get away with it, and then they're going to abuse me, right? So it's like that, anyway. I can't remember. So either way, I'm screwed. So i got to stay up here with Christ. I can't go down in the illusion and play anymore. And that's what I was. I went down in the illusion in the school. And I was playing in the school with a bunch of other kids when I found the gun. This guy came out of nowhere and shot me with it. Damn near killed me. They grabbed the, him and the guns. The big guns, the two other big guns. And the spiders represented the two guys, or the three guys. There's three spiders, three guys. Now the detail of the spiders was really pretty cool because they were wrapped in like a membrane. The spider was wrapped in a membrane. Inside the membrane, there was three 
sacks of eggs plus the spider and and the membrane had legs how messed up is that what does that mean right i don't even want to know like like we are wrapped up in membranes okay physical bodies soul in a physical body is wrapped up in membranes My, they're called skins okay so we're all wrapped in skins too but this thing was weird man it was freaking me out anyway it was messed up and then you got you got your I can't go in the basement. I wanted to go in the basement. What do you do, right? Then I'm laying there and I'm thinking, well, fuck. I'm screwed. I'm stuck here forever. Up in Christ. I can't go down in the illusion and do my thing. And I'm thinking, well, I'm going to ask Christ all these different scenarios. I go about how we can catch these guys. And he's going, oh, don't worry about it. We're taking care of it. When it happens, it happens. And I'm like, what are you talking about, right? I don't want to sit here for 100 years and wait. Before I go to the illusion, it'll be my next lifetime before you get you catch these guys. If I can't even go down there, I'm like, well, let me go down there. You guys sit there as soon as they they want me, right? So they're gonna kick my ass. Man, I've been punched in the face. I've been beat up a hundred times by these fucking demons and ghosts and spirits. One morning I woke up, totally scratched all over my body, red welts all over my body from fucking whatever it was scratching me. I don't remember the name. But I woke up with scratches all over me. It's like I was laying in peanut shells, rolling around in peanut shells with broken glass all night. My whole body, right? I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I got punched out by the demon. Still alive. Anyway, Grace ain't letting me down there to get abused. They're not going to use me to get abused because I might die. So I'm fucked. All of a sudden, I'm laying there, I'm there, I'm laying there, I'm laying there, I'm there thinking. And all of a sudden, this voice, this girl whispers, and she's mentally, mental telepathy in my head. And I don't see her. She's just a voice going, bah, 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 in my physical ear. And she goes, Richard, there's other ways. She whispers, she goes, Richard, there's other ways to get these guys. And it's going to happen. Pay attention when you wake up in the morning. Pay attention when you wake up in the morning. Now she came and she saved me a bunch of other times. The one time, the uh, the spider with 12 legs owned my ass, the, the Archon thing, calling itself Jesus way back. She came and saved me. And she's the same one. I forgot what her name was. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, she came and she goes, don't worry about it. Pay attention in the morning. There's other ways of getting this thing. right?" And she, so she's like... The Paula, she's like the, goes in between, she's got little loopholes in every, Christ rules, all Christ rules, this little, this girl has little loopholes, and I think she's a Christ too, but she plays the loopholes, right, like everything's black and white within Christ, all the laws you can and cannot do, but she's got loopholes, so whenever I get myself in a catch-22 with Christ, between my body, my physical brain, my spirit, my soul, and grace. Whenever I get stuck 22, or I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't, she comes in, she goes, do this, do this, do this. She whispers in my ear, do this, do this. So like one time I got in a fight with Christ in a, um, one of the Christ, and he was yelling at me all the time, and I left, and I left, and I was just floating around. All of a sudden she goes, go to wisdom. Ask, ask yourself for wisdom. You want to, you want to, you want to learn wisdom. She goes, you have to ask. So she goes, go back to Christ, ask for wisdom. And I'm like, all right. And uh, so I went back to Christ, and I, I said, I want to learn wisdom. And so next thing I know, he ships me off, and I'm with the Christ that teaches wisdom for like a week, and I didn't even learn anything. I just did it to break myself out of that. That one Christ, he was doing stuff to me that was breaking me, man. I couldn't take it. And all it was was like this constant fight. And I couldn't take it anymore. And she said, well, go to wisdom. And it'll break things up. It'll give you time to think. And she whispered that in my head like mental telepathy. And anyway, awesome stuff. She got me out of that. She saved me from that. 
So there's always something, but you got to pay attention. Like all the skills you got, expand on those skills. And uh, listen. Anyway, so I'm up in Christ. I'm like at the sixth, seventh tier or something. Christ with us, with me. He's cool. He's pretty cool. And. I, uh, my mom, uh, mom, I asked mom, I go, she goes, no, nope, you're not going down there. Then all of a sudden this other girl whispered in my ear and she said, pay attention in the morning. There's other ways of getting these people. So pay attention. So I'm like right on. I don't know. She never told me the way, but she said, pay attention in the morning. Because when I wake up in the morning, I have the dream, or I wake up and Christ is there and we're all having a chat, right? And then I get up, I go make a coffee, then I sit down and I meditate and I let go of everything, and my skin's closed up real tight, and I don't hear nothing. But in the morning, I'm like wide open, right? And that's when I hear and can see and talk to Christ and see what's going on and talk about the dream I just had. So there you go. The dream represented exactly what I was going through in the spirit world with Christ. And the illusion was, was where I am now. The house, the garage, was the plane I was on the other, all week. But they kept moving me around or taking me up or down, moving me around. But as soon as I go into the basement, my soul gets wrapped in the body really tight. And then I'm stuck in the illusion physical reality you understand how cool is that and the dream represented every goddamn thing about it and the spiders chasing me represented the three guys well I, there's three now I didn't know that I don't think Christ knew it until I dreamt it I told him this morning because we were talking about it and uh, he told me everything I needed what's going on and I go oh yeah by the way there's three spiders and he goes oh that's interesting so and the girl talked to me and all that. Hey, I don't even know who she is. I got a name, but I forgot. I forgot what it was. Anyway, I just wanted to put this out there. It'll give you, a, like, and the people that follow my videos, you know, I do the nine tiers, the astral plane, and the illusion, and how I got all messed up in it. And, um, about the laser gun that I almost got killed with and how you were following all that. So I just thought the situation I'm in and the dream or in how a dream represents what you're going through. You understand? So that's why I say pay attention to your dreams like in every fucking detail you can. When you're in a dream, get every detail, man, because it means something. Especially if you're talking with aliens or people that are trying to kill you. Count down to the legs of the spider. If there's a spider chasing you, count the babies on his back, count the eyes, count count the legs, count everything, count what it's walking on, what's going on in the background, get all the detailed information because it all means something. It all means something of what's going on with you in the spirit world. Trust me, man. I'm not lying. What, everything you need to know is in the fucking dreams. Especially if it's a reoccurring dream. So that's why I'm telling you how, like, okay. And my cousins represent other people, family that are in the, in the illusion. Okay. My two cousins are in the illusion. The two guys are in the illusion trying to kill me. And they're working, working on killing me. But my cousins weren't killing me. But it represented two guys. Do you understand? In the illusion. But if you went down into the basement, that means something else. So, of the house. It's because I'm in dream space. I'm more or less out of my body. Floating around the illusion. Okay? When I wake up, I go in my house. And then I go in the basement and I get wrapped up. And well, I can't do that anymore. So that's why I couldn't go in the house. Down in the basement of the house. 
down in the basement of the body, right? In the illusion. Without Christ protecting me. All right, we've got three minutes left. Uh, probably have more this afternoon. I'll post it as soon as I get it. later, guys.